I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. For the two of you, we'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person. Seven of Swords and it's with the Five of Wands. Now the Seven of Swords with this card, it can, it can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying on you, you could be right. Or if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, then you just might want to rethink the impulse, because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. So, it's with this Five of Wands. Now, the Five of Wands, it can refer to competition. This could be work or career family or romance, but sometimes it can refer to romantic rivals, so don't be afraid of competing. Just know that you have something to offer and you can be successful, but the thing is you're going to have to try just to see results. Because when this card appears in a reading, your need to believe in yourself is going to have to be stronger than ever. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. When you get the Five of Wands, you may be thinking of making a career change, but you have to know that you can be successful, if so. So, Capricorn, the message that I'm getting Seven of Swords clarified by this Five of Wands for the recent past energy between you and your person is that um, yeah, you could have someone that you know they're keeping tabs on you, they're watching you they could be stalking you or just always on your Facebook or your social media accounts trying to figure out what's going on with Capricorn Not in a not in a bad way. They just want to. They just kind of want to get an idea. What you been up to? What what's Capricorn doing? So somebody that you know, um, they're watching you. Yes, they are. Because it's with the Five of Wands. It's someone that you used to know. That's what I'm getting. Or maybe it's someone new. It could be someone new. But for a lot of you, it's someone that you used to know. Um, and I say this because I'm looking at the Six of Cups. It's coming up. Six of Cups is the card that's coming up. So maybe someone that you used to know. They, they're doing a lot of watching you because when you get the Five of Wands, it can be the type of person that's being pursued by several people. Yeah, so they want to know if you're still a challenge or someone that's really difficult to get or to be with. Yeah, because if you look at the Five of Wands, it's a card below the word pass. You see how these, there's five men there. Four of them are beating each other up with their sticks or their wands. And then you got this one person just standing there. He's grinning. He's taking pride that people are fighting over him. So your person's trying to figure, figure out if, you know, are you still a challenge to deal with? Are you still being pursued by so many people? So they're just watching you, trying to figure it out for themselves. I think you got someone that's interested in you, Capricorn. But that's the recent past energy. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Knight of Cups, and it's with the Six of Cups. 
Now, the Nine of Cups, like most of the cups in the tarot, it's a very optimistic, good card to see. This one comes with messages, and usually they're the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. This one tells you that things are going well. So, you're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. And this card, it can mean good news, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. So, it's likely headed your way soon. Now, the Knight of Cups is with the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups can be a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children, with childhood. It's important to spend, well, it's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. Because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if, but if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So, coming up, Capricorn. It looks like this person, I don't know if it's someone new, but it could be someone that you already know. It looks like they're, they're kind of over-watching you. They're kind of over-stalking you, or kind of like ready to approach you. They're ready. So they could be coming in, reaching out to you, being romantic and sensitive. That's what the Knight of Cups does. They could be trying to sweep you off your feet. The Knight of Cups will try to rush in and sweep you off your feet. Maybe um, this person will ask you out. Um... Like I said, for most of you, it's someone that you know, because the Six of Cups is about a lot of happy memories. Someone that you're familiar with. So, this person could be thinking about all the happy times that the two of you had. Yeah, so they want, they want to rush back in. Yeah, that's them up there, the Knight of Cups. Rushing in to sweep you off your feet and being very romantic and sensitive. They're remembering all the happy memories that the two of you made. Now, it's, now um, let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. Six of Swords and Ten of Wands. Now, the Six of Swords can indicate movement, maybe a change in where you are inwardly. Usually, the change is for the better. Whether it's internal or it could be external, it's about thinking where you want to be. There is a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So this could actually be a time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery is going to be helpful, and it doesn't have to cost money. Now, Six of Swords is with the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways you might lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden you're carrying, it actually belongs to someone else. So, it's going to be important for you to pace yourself at this time and try not to take on too much. Yeah, the Ten of Wands is a card that's below the word challenge. It's, it's a difficult time. Um, this man is walking forward, but it looks like he's about to fall backwards. So, Capricorn, coming up for the challenge... Six of Swords, clarified by this Ten of Wands. Yeah, so, like I said, your person, they they come rushing in, wanting to be with you, sweep you off your feet. They've been, you've been on their mind. A lot, lot of happy memories between you and your person. And that's what they've been thinking about. There's familiarity here. 
So this person feels really comfortable with you. I'm getting that they want to get back with you. But the challenge is, is showing that it could be, it's not going to be easy. Yeah. Um, for a lot of you, you've been away from this person for a long time. And it's, 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 I'm getting that it's not easy to get back on the same page as you two once were. So it's difficult coming back together on the same page. Or it's not as easy to um, get emotionally back together. Emotionally on the same page back together. It's, it's showing that there's some difficulties there. Sorry about the noise. Okay, so, um, okay. So, with the Six of Swords here, it's showing that you two, there's no disappointment or heartbreak. It's just showing that you two just move into calmer waters. Maybe you two are friends. You end up as friends. Because if you look at the two people in this boat, the Six of Swords, they're not looking into each other's eyes. They're not holding hands. She's kind of like looking at her, um, on her computer at the work that she's got coming up for the, for the week. And he's kind of like trying to make sure, um, make sure the coast is clear moving forward while he's guiding the boat or the canoe. Yeah, so you kind of, you two are just kind of like friends. It's showing that there's no love, really no love interest now. There was before. But it's really difficult now trying to bring the sparks back to the connection. So that's what I'm getting for some of you. Yeah, it's just hard trying to to make the sparks fly again. I'm getting for a lot of you, you two have been separated for a while. But this, but you and this person, you guys have a lot of happy memories. Yeah, and they, they were hoping that the sparks would fly again and that the two of you could rekindle some romance. So, yeah, but anyway, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Two of Pentacles and it's with the Three of Wands. Now, the Two of Pentacles could be about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitask. Multitasking is not your friend at this time, so you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. It could be that your financial situation needs to be more balanced, so be sure you're paying attention there. Now, it's with the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands, with this card, you could find that your finances are going much better. In fact, it could feel like a time where your ship has finally arrived. So you're feeling very strong with a good reason. You could finally finally experience, and experience some important success after you've been through some difficulties. The Three of Wands, it can refer to work. In a very positive way, even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts, they're seen, appreciated, and are well respected. So give yourself some credit. So basically the outcome, Capricorn, two of Pentacles clarified by the three of wands. So yeah, like I said, the sparks don't fly. It's not like they can't come back like they used to, but it's going to take a lot of work. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of work because I'm looking at the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so it looks like you two are just at a comfortable, friendly place. Your person, it looks like they go on 
to live their busy life. They're probably doing a lot of things. Um, two of Pentacles means you're doing a lot of things. So your person goes back to their life being really busy. And that's you down there at the Three of Wands, which is actually great. It looks like um, you're, you're looking ahead. You're going forward with expansion and growth towards something. Maybe it's a, a new project. Maybe it's a new person. Because the Three of Wands, it means that you've made a decision and you're going forward. It feels like your ship has finally come in. So you've got things going on for yourself. There's something that you've made a decision about. And you're going forward. You're looking ahead to the future. You're getting ready for 2021. And there's a, a lot of expansion and growth for you. It could be with another person. Or it could be with a situation. So yeah. I'm getting for a lot of you. You too are going your separate ways. But the um, attempt was there. This person was very hopeful. Or wishing that you two could have the sparks fly again. Because you were on this person's mind. Yes, and they finally decided to reach out. But yeah, it would take some time, a lot of time to get the, the sparks to fly again like they used to. So it looks like you go on off to, to your new journey and they go off to their busy life. So Capricorn, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate. Sorry about the noise. This, this was not supposed to happen, but I can't do anything about it. If you knew my situation. But hang in there with me. My situation is about to improve, so you will not be hearing a lot of disturbances. So, Capricorn. What was I saying? Thank you so much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, Capricorn... Remember, when you get these readings, the roles can be switched. Yes, they can. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I'm wishing you all happy holidays. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.